Hello everyone, something different, yay, we're doing another food vlog. So it's not really that different, <laughs> but it's exotic fruit this time. So I had a little bit of extra cash a while back and I thought, what could I do? What do I enjoy that I also want to share? And that is exotic fruits. So exotic fruit is a bit of a weird, exotic anything is a bit of a weird concept to me it's just stuff you're not used to what makes something exotic you know it's kind of a weird term to be honest anyway these are fruits that i wanted to try and one fruit that i already know right the first one i want to try is the red daka which is a um red banana or it's a, yeah it's a type of banana but it's red it's not really that red even with this light, it doesn't look that red. It's more like a brownie um, wine color. Um, and I've been waiting for these to go ripe. And it's finally ripe, so... I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it's like. I'm excited to see what it's like. I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see what it's like. Can I peel it like a normal banana? Yes! So it looks pretty similar. Oh, it smells pretty similar. Mmm, banan! Um, apparently these taste a lot better. They're sweeter, they've got more nutrients in them. And they are way more expensive. Like, one red daka cost me... Mmm, I think it was two pounds per banana. So that is quite a lot. Tastes pretty much like a banana, actually. That's a shame. I was really expecting more from that. And it did tell me to wait till it's soft, until it was like mottled on the skin. So it's definitely ripe. It's still got seeds in because we bred the seeds out of the normal banana. Hmm. It's nice, but no different. But, well, there's a difference, but it's not a significant difference there. Anyway, here is one of my favorites. It's an Indonesian fruit, and it's called the snakeskin. And you can see why it's called the snakeskin. It's very snaky. Snaky skin with the skin and snake. Um, yeah, it's very, it's very cool. And, oh, there's a little bit coming off. Mmm. Mmm. It is such a... Oh, this one's good. I'm trying to get it off, but the skin is quite... Uh, it's, it's very hard. It's, it's like dried up snake skin. It's quite bizarre how accurate that name is. Um, I'm trying to let you see a clove. I should, I should peel it here, really. But my stupid mic is in the way. <laughs> but if I don't have the mic near me, then um, because it's a di directional mic, you'll get a lot of reverb. And that's kind of annoying, too. Um, this is like one of the uh, compartments or one of the pieces. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So, um, it's a hard kind of fruit, um, crunchy, mmm, mmm, it's so good, oh I'm bleeding, I made myself bleed, <laughs> welp, that's what you get for having not snake skin, um, yeah, it, it is, has such a... I thought it was almondy. That's what I said in stream earlier today. It's not. It's... Mm. It's tasty. 
but it tastes I can't even describe it I can't even describe what it's like but it's literally one of my favorite fruits that I've discovered in recent years and that's the pip and I was gonna try and and grow these last time so I might do that again see if I can get it to germinate and maybe I can grow a little salak fruit plant it's called uh, salak pondo in, uh, in, in Japanese I wanted to say in Indonesian mm. Mm. now this one I have no idea if I can eat it yet I can't remember if I had to do something special with this but this one it's called stinking toe fruit because usually it kind of looks like a toe to me it looks like a veiny ball bag but you know um, toe is preferable here I guess and it smells like feet so when you smell it it's like a very um, mild cheese that you're smelling because cheese smell like feet they have the same bacteria as feet so that's where the smell comes from yeah, and it is, I mean, it's rattly inside. Does that mean it's ripe? I have no idea. So I'm going to try and cut into this and not cut my skin. Oh, I don't even know if I can get into this. It's such a hard, it's a very hard shell. Um, oh, no, I don't know. I cracked it. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So it's more like a nut. It's not really a... A fruit as much I thought it was a fruit but it's a nut it's very powdery it stinks like feet and uh, to get it open I had to use this there nah. so that's what it's like oh it's so powdery oh no it's going all over my keyboard oh my god it's like powder why is it like powder I know this flavor. <gasps> mm. I know this flavor. And then there's this inside. So, so basically it's all powdery like that. With this in it. Very peculiar. This must be one of the weirdest fruits that I've ever eaten. And I've eaten a durian, although I really like durian, so can't really, really say anything about that. <laughs> and then we've got the black garlic. And I'm not entirely sure what they do with it. I think it's pickled and fermented, but it's jet black, it's garlic, it smells, oh, it smells like Asian noodles to me. I eat a lot of Asian noodles that have black garlic in them. So I'm gonna try a piece and stink for the rest of the evening. So mmm. 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 Yes. Mmm. 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 Mm. Definitely pickled, I think. Pickled garlic. But it's also roasted. I don't know what they do to it. Does it say? It's in Spanish. Oh, there you go. Oh, there. From a long natural fermentation without additives. You can eat it as the same way as fresh garlic, raw or cooked. So yeah, it's fermented garlic. Oh, I love fermented stuff. Fermented things are so good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shouldn't eat all of it. I'll be burping up garlic for the rest of my days. Not that bad for me. Not that great for others who hate it. <laughs> anyway, those were my fruits and garlic that I wanted to try. And I really, really love that kind of thing. If you are interested in me doing more of this kind of thing, let me know. And I will, because 
I always want to expand my horizons. I always want to try new stuff, especially food wise, because food to me is like one of those magical things. And there's so much out there and there's so much variety and so many things to discover. And I just love it. And I, now I can say that I ate a fruit called Stinking Toe. And it was quite nice, even though it didn't smell great and it was powdery. But it's it tasted nice and I still it still reminds me of something. But I can't think of what it was. But I've had that flavor before and I think it's also used in Asian cooking, so Oh, mmm. That garlic. I I think that's my favorite, the garlic. And the snake fruit, because that was a favorite of mine already. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and maybe give it a go yourself and let me know what you think. Alright, look after each other, look after yourself. And I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.